Okay, y'all, let's do a haul. <laughs> okay, that was dumb. We'll cut that out. Okay, it's Thursday night. I can't make it one more day with all the stuff in my car. So we're going to do a haul tonight. And I thought, well, there's a few hummingbirds out and mosquitoes. I just saw mosquitoes. You can see the hummingbirds in the background. I thought that might be fun. So let me start showing you some of the things I picked up this week from the thrift store in my town. I would imagine this is a fruit cake tin. It's about the size of one, so. But I loved the image on it, and I'm a sucker for tins. I don't know what it is, but it was only a dollar. So, I liked that. All right, for a dollar fifty, I got this Anchor Hawking Fleur de Lis little candy dish. Um, or apothecary dish, whatever you want. It's listed several different ways. I thought that was pretty for a dollar fifty. For a dollar, I picked up this brass candelabra. All right, for two dollars, I got this hefty gal. It's a nice shabby. It's like a plaster, I would say. But you could even paint that if you wanted. Look, look, um, it looked great outside or inside. For two fifty, I picked this up. It has a hook on the back, so you could hang it. But wouldn't this look cute even just sitting on a table? Or put it out in your garden. I really liked that. I thought it was well worth two fifty, and it's probably magnetic, so you could magnetize things to it. Fifty cents. I thought that was really cute. That looked great on someone's wall. Or even hanging on a knob on one of your cabinets. You can't beat a basket for 50 cents. You can always take that off if you don't like it. And for a dollar, I got this really nice wooden mug rack. You could use it for jewelry if you want. Okay. Anything. Okay, I paid a dollar each for these, and they are Royal Grafton Fine Bone China, made in England, and they're calling it Manitoba Crocus. Yeah, Manitoba Crocus. I just thought they were lovely. They make sweet little trinket dishes. Then, for 50 cents, I got this little ornament. And it seems to be porcelain, and it is all hand-painted. Now, I don't see any markings, but I thought that was so pretty. And I picked up these little egg salt and pepper shakers. The pea is worn off, um, but I would put them this way anyway. I like those for a dollar. And for 75 cents got this wonderful little bird. I have no idea who makes it, but I love it. There's the bottom. There's like a poly foam. Okay, I really like this. Seems to be a pedestal planter, and it is made by Lefton. I can do so many things with this. That little bird would even look sweet in there. Then I picked this up, and I happen to have this in my laundry room, one just like it. Um, I paid a dollar for this. I think it's sweet, and I think someone else will want one in their laundry room. For a dollar, I picked up this bud vase. It is made by Mikasa. For a dollar fifty, I believe, I picked up this basket. It's like a dipper, and I can't read what it says on the paper. Maybe you can see. It looks like it shows up better that way. Can you see the hummingbirds back there? I picked up this little wire basket for a dollar. I really liked it. 
Don't know anything about it, but it's cute. 50 cents, Occupy Japan. Really cute little mug for $2 at this Royal Halsey three-footed little teacup. Isn't that gorgeous? It looks like it's in really good shape. So I like that. So sweet. For two dollars, I got this little cutie pie. It's Corral, and I cannot think of the name of that pattern. I think it's Golden Butterfly or something like that. You'd think I would look this up before I speak things I don't know. But let me know in the comments if you know right offhand that pattern. Love it. This has no markings, but it was a dollar. And I think it'd make a great little bud vase or maybe have, oh, you know, some pearls or something coming out of it. Just a really pretty little delicate piece. Okay, I don't even know. I don't know who I am sometimes. It seems like I like everything. But these were a dollar each. And the lips on the horse, both of them, look at the lips. That is, uh... That's pretty special. <laughs> so I couldn't leave them behind because actually they are really cute. I like them. I think they're sweet. And, you know, they've got blue. They've got gold. There's no chips. There's no cracks. And I just loved the lipstick on the horses. It's probably, uh, what do you call that? What brand? Nabeline. Nabeline. Okay, I picked up these coffee mugs. I thought they were wonderful. Lots of people like Watkins. And let's see. That's that. That's that. And I think I paid 50 cents each. But now I'm seeing that they were marked a dollar each. But I'm pretty sure I just paid 50 cents. And their original tag says $4.50. Then I picked up these salt and pepper shakers for a dollar. Really good color. For $2.50, I picked up this little condiment set. I just really like those. And they've got their little spoons. And it says stainless, Taiwan. But how cute. And they're in great shape. I bought two little baggies with smalls. There's like these little itty bitty babies. Um, there's four all together. And I gave 50 cents for the four babies. And then, oh my goodness. So this is a little teapot and it's taped together because the lid actually comes off from the teapot it's a little mini. Oh my goodness. How cute is that? Oh my word. And there's a little sewing machine. It's a little telephone. And a little butter churn. I love them. So fun. For $3.00. Now that's seen better days, absolutely, but $3 for this set. I thought it was very pretty. It's unmarked. Look at the iridescence in there. So pretty. But I thought that would be pretty with something in it, which I will show you. Okay, I went to check on one of my booths in town, um, Time Turner booth, and while I was there, this girl right here was calling my name. It's a pin cushion. It's a German doll head. This is velvety, and it was supposed to be a strawberry, and this is from like the early 1900s. 
and I think she is absolutely wonderful. But I thought something like this, perhaps. I did not thrift her. She was $20, but I think she is worth way more than $20. I am absolutely in love with her. So I like that. I think that's a very sweet display. Okay, you guys, I'm running out of daylight. <laughs> Here are um, a set of four for $2. They are placemats, and they're from Hobby Lobby. They still have the stickers on them. Um, the spring shop, and they were normally $2 each. So I thought the cows were fun. And then I've got five of these for $2, and they are pigs. And they're from Hobby Lobby um, Spring Shop also. So those will go in my kitchen booth. And then last, the last thing I want to show you from this week, I actually purchased today. These are reproduction political buttons. They're from 1972, and the Amico Oil Company produced these, or had them produced. And they were a really fun find. I am going to repurpose them, because they don't have super duper great value. Um, so I'm gonna turn them into ornaments that you can use for, you know, the 4th of July or you know whatever you know I like to decorate the tree okay, so there's 38 of them and I am going to turn them into ornaments put them on ribbons and then hang them on my white tree in my booth at Country Classics and sell them individually because I think they'd be more valuable separated than a whole. You can look these up. They are on Etsy. They're on eBay. Some people have them priced high and some people have them priced low. I did give $25 for this set and I've seen them being sold for $5 each and I've seen them being sold for $9.99 for the whole set. So I think there will be no harm in doing a craft with them. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I hope you have enjoyed seeing my haul. All the things that I needed to get out of my car. It's starting to get dark. I hope this video isn't too grainy. And I hope you enjoyed this. Please like this video, comment in this video, let me know what you think of those buttons. Um, would you repurpose them. Well, by the time you tell me, I'm going to have them repurposed. So <laughs> tell me what your favorite item was from my haul. And please, if you haven't, please subscribe. It's free and it will help me grow. And I just want to thank you for being here. Remember, it's cool to be kind. <laughs> See you in the next one. Okay, y'all, let's do a haul. <laughs> okay, that was dumb. I'll cut that out. And I thought, well, there's a few hummingbirds out and mosquitoes. I just saw a mosquito. So maybe you can see the mosquitoes in the background. The... <laughs> so maybe you can see the hummingbirds in the background. I thought that might be fun. So.